About a year ago, your friend in Central in office was here to commission this other facility. Uh, once that came on board, it was discovered that the primary health care authority in the local government have so many offices. We have the office of the HIV officer, tuberculosis officer, immunization officer. The reason we are doing this, the other day, Professor Chitro already was here and he said to us, he doesn't think that a lawyer should be doing this. But what the prof didn't know is that to, to be a lawyer, you need to know half of everything. So, as a lawyer, I also know half of medicine. And I know that primary health care is the bedrock of health service. It must be something that will reach the people at no distant time. That is the essence of primary health care. So when we looked around, when we came on board and looked around, no primary health care facilities seem to function in the local government, especially within the world of So we thought out this project. I told the story of how I, I, I was the first, the first person in the local government who took the coronavirus down. I didn't know where they brought the vaccine from. They met me in my village, Ababu. So I decided to say in Ababu to take the jam, just in case anything happens. <laughs> so they won't be looking for ambulance. And I said to my wife, take the jam. She said, no, that she won't take the jam. Now both of us will not go to the same place. They say, after six months, I will, I will carry on. I let her stay back and take care of the kids. I said, what if nothing happens? You, know, you don't experiment with this kind of thing. So I took the jab, but I had my rosary in my pocket. <laughs> so, and I prayed my rosary. I said to God, whatever this is, if it is going to be toxic, I turn it to water in Jesus' name. Amen. Look, once you are good, you are good. When she came out, her staff, everybody started clapping. She didn't solicit that, that clap or chair that came from there. It's because she is indeed our medical officer for health. So, Ms. Dr. Mr. Zabana, I want to thank you for all you have done within your short stay here. I was just whispering to your ears that we couldn't have had a better MOH. Now, to have this kind of MOH, who is very dutiful, the, the least you can do for her, is provide a, 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 an environment that makes it comfortable for her to work. That is why we've provided everything that is here. All the offices are in suites. They have decent uh, confidence for them to work. We have also procured a very giant generator so that at all times the health officers will stay here and work. I saw a gentleman, my friend, I think it's Mac, McLean or something. McTalley. Is he one? Nobody knows why he's dancing the way he dances here. I don't want to ask him to come and give a testimony. If we were in the church, I would have asked him to come and give a testimony. Yes, you'll be surprised that himself alone he has a big office with, with, with a 1.5 uh, horsepower air conditioner. So before I get to work, he is already here. And he's, he will be here until I leave. So I have promised that I will buy him a television and put him in that office. Now, what, why are we doing all this? It will also affect output. When a man is comfortable, the environment where he, is, he or she is uh, working is comfortable, it definitely will affect output. And all of what we've done, yes, you came in and it was as if there was no change in batting in, in the board because of the relationship the council still enjoys with you. All of what we have achieved today was as a result of a robust collaboration between the council and the board. 
I want to thank you for what all of you are doing. There is nothing much to tell you other than to thank God for you and your team. Thank God for my team and I too. All of this would not have been possible if I were to drive it alone. It has been a collegiate work for us in the moment. It is here we have got the use of the first person singular. We employ the use of the first person plural. That's why that is how we work here. And I want to thank all of you. I came here not quite long uh, for the commissioning, but before I got here, everything was in place. Even while I was on phone with Dr. Kachi, I came in here and we were set for the commissioning because I have a wonderful team. I have a team that can drive this vision even if I'm not there. So it's left for among our people. But you want to choose now, choose right there. Because we cannot afford to have anybody come here under the guise of politics, under the guise of being chosen, and you choose somebody, just as my father would say, if you have size nine, now the council has moved to size 13. We cannot have anybody less than size 13. What we will be looking for now is from 15 and above. So you must check yourself and you must be someone who has first a fear of God. It is not impossible for public officers to perform. But when you you can only do so when you are true avarice, when you are true greed. Nobody gave me any timetable on what to do as chairman of council. But I conceive that this is the best legacy I can leave for my people. Here we have performed two medical outreaches. One was in conjunction with Obaki Query. Over 5,000 patients were seen here, including surgeries. When they left, my team and I decided that the best Christmas gift we will give to our people in December was another medical outreach. Ladies and gentlemen, 168 surgeries were performed here. The medical officer of Rebel One is here. She wrote the report and gave to me. There are even referrals which that not be handled here that we are taking to the secondary uh, facilities. But at the council, we underwrite, we underwrite the bills under her direct supervision. So once you have the fear of God, there is nothing you can do. I feel happy. It is not the, the amount of money I have. And they have a million naira in the house. I go and come back, it won't greet me. But if I enter any of those communities, they will remember, somebody will remember that this is the person who built this road. To me, that is what is important. Nobody will go with any money. No wealth, no matter what you acquire, no wealth will follow you anywhere. So for us as a people, learning from our leaders, the likes of Vince Paul, one of them, and Gina Kikwe Mekawoke, who is unavoidably absent. And, of course, my elder brother, Professor Aaron Yojule, who is also one of my very big supporters. We are here today, proudly, proudly, I can tell you that I am a very proud chairman today. Because looking back, all of these edifices you see here uh, as, a, as a result of prudent management of scarce resources. So we've applied these resources adequately and we hope that those who will use these facilities will keep them this way. It will not be good to come back in two months and find everywhere uh, messed up. We have also uh, contracted those who will continue to keep these facilities clean. Let the civil servants do their job. We have those who will continue to clean the offices, the confidences, so that they are not messed up. On this note, therefore, I'd like to very most respectfully invite the executive secretary of the River State Primary Healthcare Management Board, who incidentally was chairman of the River State Healthcare Primary, Primary Management Board, Professor Kirika Green, to come and talk to his people and thereafter commission the facility. Professor.